Hello and welcome to this video tutorial in the remote learning plan for Garen College teachers. So up on the screen here just on the first page is talking about uh, forms of communication uh, that we'll be having with one another over the coming four weeks. Um, what I have in front of me is uh, we sent out a document looking at uh, ways that we can deliver remote learning so that was looking at a structured program of classroom timetables and times that fit. So thank you so much for your feedback because through that and in discussion with other schools locally, nationally and internationally, uh, what we should be focusing on in remote learning is um, asynchronous or synchronous learning opportunities. Um, so it can occur anywhere, anytime uh, through the technology that we're able to have. And this will be determined by you uh, and set uh, by your head of faculty uh, around the communication that they'll have with you. So there's a list of eight ideas and the most important one is obviously to look after your family and your health, uh, but just to also think about that with remote learning, we won't be able to teach the same amount of content that we would face to face. So it has to be short, sharp bites. And I know looking at the capacity document that many of you, many of you are more than capable of doing this. Um, as we come down, um, we're also looking at some examples um, if you're wondering if there's any good content out there for you and also looking at um, tools that you're able to use and I know that people are using specific tools which is really good um, and use the ones that work for you. Uh, if there's a tool that you're using that you're finding that's really complicated um, I would go for a simpler tool and we can provide advice around it as well. Throughout remote learning, what we're also looking at is these areas here. So if you've got, um, if you're trying new stuff, um, make sure you add it to the slideshow so we can learn collectively. Uh, we're also focusing on uh, quick uh, Google Meet catch-ups uh, every morning. So if you click on that link, it's just to have a bit of a chat uh, just to see how you're going. Next, we've got this idea here, looking at uh, ideas that people are already trialing and implementing. So well done to David and Pete for sharing some ideas. And then finally, um, we've got this Padlet here. So just put down how you're finding uh, remote learning and maybe some questions, because collectively, if we work together, we can problem solve and answer some of the questions that we have as we're going through this journey. There's also some um, really good resources and a bank of resources here if you're interested in some further reading. And finally, this is a couple of ways that you can do remote learning. In no way am I saying they have to be done in this specific way. But if you're looking at delivering a video lesson or a conference, there's an idea there. Um, and also if you're looking at a, a week uh, long uh, project or idea, there's four areas that you can go through throughout the week. Because the biggest thing here is about social connection uh, and connecting with um, each other and also with the learners as well. And finally, uh, if you want to use the idea of a bingo sheet, uh, we provide a range of opportunities. Um, there's a quick example there. So thank you so much for all of your feedback and uh, look forward to uh, hearing more of how everyone is going with their journey and know that we're really, and you should be confident moving into this remote learning space.